Yo, what's going on guys? It's Uncle Kobe and welcome back to yet another MW3 Helpful Hints. I know I haven't done one of these in a while and to tell you the truth, it's just hard to find things that a billion other people haven't made a video about already. So from now on, I'll probably just stick to like quick tips that you can carry into Black Ops 2 as well, just so they stay relevant. However, I will continue to make spots videos if I feel they are worthy enough to share, you know, in this late stage of the game. But nonetheless, in today's video, we are going to be talking about snaking. Now, some of you may or may not know what snaking is, but I'm sure all of you have done it at some point without even realizing it. Personally, I think snaking is a big problem with Call of Duty as gameplay mechanics go, but if it's in the game, might as well use it. So after you watch this video, hopefully you will be able to take full advantage of it. Alright guys, first thing you should know is that snaking is basically a glitch in the game. And I call it a glitch because when you do it, it eliminates any possible quick reaction time by your opponents, and it gives you an edge in a gunfight. Not so much that you're reporting someone for doing it, but it most likely is something that you'll complain about when it's done to you. Now there are two types of snaking. The first is most common, and I'm sure all of you do it. It's when you are in a gunfight and you duck behind cover. But before you come up, you are already holding down that left trigger button, so when you do come up, you're ready to take your opponents out. Now most people don't consider this snaking, however I do just because how it affects your opponent's bullet registration and his reaction time. I don't think I need to spend any more time on this because most of you do it by impulse already. But the other form of snaking is a little different and is actually best used to take people off of head glitches. Like the last example, your opponent will have virtually no time to react and in his screen, his death will be a near instant. What you guys are looking at right now is me snaking and as you can see, this is where it gets its name from. When you snake, you're basically slithering across the ground. Most of you are probably thinking right now, well, what the hell does that do? That looks pointless. But trust me, if you get it lodged into your muscle memory, it will help you win a lot of gunfights. The way I most often use it, and I think is the most useful, is to take people off of head glitches. First, let me show how you actually do it, and it really could not be any easier. From the prone position, all you have to do is hit the crouch button, and then immediately afterwards hit sprint. And literally, that is it. Here is one example of how you might use it. Let's say you know someone is at that head glitch, and he's pre-aiming, waiting for you to poke your head out. Rather than slowly peeking around the corner, which will give him the upper hand, use the snake glitch. Again, prone, crouch, sprint, and then of course, take him out. Occasionally, if they have the better connection and a quick reaction time, they may land a shot or two on you. However, no matter what, their first couple bullets will not register, giving you the advantage every time. In this example, your opponent has you trapped in a corner, and he's just laying there prone, waiting for you to come out. This time, I'm going to be a little fancier and add a jump after the snake, which looks something like this. However, in his screen, it looks like this. On a side note, if you're a really gnarly sniper, I recommend trying to add like a 360 at the end of it. I tried like a bazillion times, but I suck at sniping so I can never hit the shot. Also, let's say there's no way you would have a shot on him, but you want to check if he was still there. You can snake out around the corner and cut right back with no time for your opponent to kill you. As you can see, with you moving this fast, there is no way for him to get you. But anyways, keep in mind that this is just something to have in your back pocket or up your sleeve for whenever the opportunity calls for it. I don't really suggest you go around all game trying to snake people, for the obvious reason that you will look like an idiot, but if you can remember this, I guarantee it will help you at one point or another. That wraps up this episode of Helpful Hints. I hope you enjoyed this quick little tip, and if you did, please share your support by giving it a rating down below, and let me know in the comments if you already knew about this and if you use it while playing. Also, just a heads up, no one has guessed correctly on the current weekly giveaway, so if you haven't checked that out, click the annotation on screen. And if you did already, I'll give you three more guesses, so go take advantage of that. I want to be able to give some prizes away come next Saturday. On Friday should be another helpful hints, and until then will be a plethora of awesome videos. I don't know if that's how you say that, but anyways, if you're new and like what I do, hit that subscribe button. This was Uncle Kobe. Until next time, I love you all, and peace.